Hey everybody, I'm here in Lindale, Texas at the Old Mill Pond Museum where we're having the big event today. And behind me, you can see a lot of the happening that's going on over there. We got, there's all kinds of just old cool tractors and hit and miss engines. And there's gonna be uh, blacksmithing demos. There's gonna be all kind of demos that's going on today. Uh, I think like uh, soap making and I don't know, just, just all kinds of stuff. Over here, we've got a really cool concession where they're going to be serving us food and drinks throughout the day. We've got the officers over there behind me that's uh, helping to direct the traffic. Man, it's just really cool. So, just getting my initial intro. It's still early. We've got about an hour before the event actually starts, but I'm already having a lot of fun meeting up with a lot of the other YouTube creators and friends, and uh, there's already some viewers that's out here. So. I'm gonna to try to share what I can on video. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not participating in any particular event, but I would like to maybe try my hand at maybe some blacksmithing today. There's gonna to be a blacksmithing section set up, so we're gonna to get to play around with that. Use a power hammer. Doug Jackson from SV Seeker, he's here. He's gonna be doing some aluminum foundry work, so we're gonna check that out. And man, there's just, there's gonna be all kind of cool stuff going on. So really excited about this. It's gonna be a fun day, fun event. I'm gonna try to bring it to you. Alrighty. Try to show you some of the stuff before it gets uh, too crowded around here. You're expecting probably, I think between 800 and 1,000 folks to show up today. They were showing this yesterday. They got this old engine fired up. It is a Galloway and they'll have it running later today. And what they're doing is running this old log splitter. It's a crank type log splitter and you have an adjustable anvil on a screw and this thing just goes up and down and you can split wood. So we'll get to see that later too. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff to see here today. Andrew Alexander's here, blacksmith tools. He got all his, his stuff here that was on the trailer from yesterday's visit. They got a lot of old tractors out here and they're supposed to be they're gonna have several of them running there was a few of the guys out here yesterday that was working on the tractors and got some of them going i believe this was one of them here This is going to be some of the raffle prizes that they're going to be giving away. Hi, Jack. You can hear that a lot on the rest of your life. Here's our friend Stan. Right. Hey. Say hey, Stan. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Wow. I'm so lucky they didn't give me a call this morning. Get ready to fire it up, huh? I ain't even skinny as a hand. <laughs> so here's the shop that. Right there. Uh, Justin uses in his videos for doing a lot of his restoration work. Hopefully we'll get to... Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> here, there you go. All right. We What's finally up, guys? Got, got him on video getting a little bit of the of the shop here. What do you got for me? Some of y'all might know who this is. Hey, Doug. Hey. Getting some get some video for the channel, man. How are you? Good to finally get, get a video with him and I together in one. Yeah, here it's like more like this. <laughs> oh, can No, you got yeah, you got to do it like that. Yeah, that's that's how it should be work. <laughs> what are you working on? Get your mold? Yeah, we're gonna cast some anodes here today. We're gonna melt down some aluminum and some zinc. Okay. I tell you what, it is fantastic to meet you. Well. Likewise, I, I really was uh, excited to be able to finally get to meet you because I've been seeing your stuff for years now, you know. Well, you probably will be seeing it for years more, unfortunately, but we're <laughs> working as fast as we can. And I, I do, I, I want to get up to his place one day and uh, not just visit. I'm going to help him do a little bit of machine work, maybe some welding and some grinding and stuff like that. How about that? That would be fantastic. Yeah. You better hurry. Yeah. We're running out of metal work. Here. Oh, really? We're going to be down to wood pretty soon. <laughs> Be I'm not, I'll, be going to, Chuck, I'll be going to woodworker conferences trying to pick up help there, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, maybe I can get down there and run some beads for him and uh, maybe help him build something. Put the there. cutlass bearing in. That'll yeah. drive, yeah, yeah, that'll drive Keith Finner just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll try to get down there and get you, get you a hand. That'd man. be great to do that, yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. If you guys don't know, uh, SV Seeker on YouTube, he's building, I don't know what size, but it's a big vessel in his front yard in the middle of Oklahoma. That's the size of my front yard. Yeah, yeah. And he's got about 
15 miles to get it to the river. Yeah, so that's it. It's gonna be an epic video, man. Yeah, <laughs> I can't well, wait I'm to see it. I'm gonna be tense that day. Oh yeah, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah. You know we're building the hitch right onto the boat. <laughs> no, that's the plan. So that you can pull it, you mean? Yeah. So you're gonna have like on a gonna be right on the bow, really? and then it's just gonna have a cradle um, with a couple of tandem axles at the rear. So. That's, that's cool, man. Yeah, we got some heavy steel welding to this. Do you do you can, weld too, or you just tear it apart from other stuff? No, I do weld, and I like welding. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you weld. Come on, man. I've done a lot of welding. On my well, channel. I'm sure you have. You have to. But I, can I don't do some watch welding. everything you do. Okay? I typically do a lot of stick welding. I do a lot of stick welding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean. I, I run a MIG gun, I can TIG, I can do it all, man. All right, I'll build some aluminum, whatever you got. Out, you can build that cradle back there for us. It's I can actually, come down and give you a hand. We actually had an engineer go through it and give us the design for it and everything. So really? It should work. Okay. Unlike a lot of other things we build. Well, I'm hoping that uh, next year I have a I have a little bit more time that I can go and, and uh, we'll probably travel be there next year and, still. and uh, help and create and, and, and collab. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be able to come down and see you. That'd be bad, Dad. Looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get some video of your your casting here later. Right, he's got some. Looks like he's got some we'll ingots there. Some stuff and, on fire. And he's gonna melt down some aluminum. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, there we are. This is his uh, shop where he does his restoration work. There's Tom. Say hey, Tom. Hey. Got you on the channel. Tom Zalickman, Inspirational Metal Works on YouTube. And, and Tom always helps out at the, uh, the Bar Z Bash doing the uh, live streams and uh, all the video work. So. Yeah, so we're getting, we're getting set up right now, in fact. Okay, cool, man. So will this be a live stream all day? Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be live streaming. So I'm just parked here temporarily. We'll be yeah. out and about. We've got everything set up. So. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is where uh, Justin works his magic right here in the workshop <laughs> and does a bunch of restoration work. And you need to check his channel out, The Good of the Land, Good of the Land Festival. We're going to start getting set up for machining here, which is why I've been binge watching everything he has. My, every night when I come home, I get home about 7 o'clock and it's nothing but like A-bomb and, you know, all that, the rest of the... Uh, is that a fact? You it, go I'm home not watch joking. You want to watch... You wanna, I will literally pull out my... Uh, <laughs> you'll see in the... Yeah, it's nuts. It's a lot. Well, I appreciate it, man. You learning anything? I am learning a lot. Learning how to turn some steel? I am. Well, to a point, there's so much... There's going to be so much when... So you think you know what you're doing, but here's the one thing that I know. They everyone who's a professional at something always makes whatever it is they're doing look easy and it never is there's so much that goes into that like just aligning four jaw chuck <laughs> like how fast you do it i'm like into it man uh yeah <laughs> loosen the lows tighten the highs bump yeah. the face around That's uh, i'm learning that and i've learned that <laughs> so so it's gonna well, be interesting to see what happens well it's something that i know how to do i know how to run a lathe and uh, run out of mill a little bit so i enjoy sharing the, the footage of the projects that i get in and it's fun man I love it. But I like seeing the restorations and I'm excited to finally be here and see all the cool stuff that you have here. That's it's what I'm doing. I'm trying to walk around and get a little shot of everything. Cool. Yeah, we got uh, Norton here set up showing some of their abrasives. Morning. Morning. Let's go see some more cool stuff. So he's got the, he's got a blacksmith shop here. The museum itself is, is really magnificent. Let's see what he's got over here. Coal Forge. There's a little power hammer there. Another drill press there. Oh, here's the, let's check this out. Here's the sawmill. Got some guys busy at work up here getting ready for the event. Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's up? Hey, there's How's Dale. Going, guys, you gonna be emceeing? Emceeing this year. Getting your notes ready. Getting yeah, prepared, huh? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's check out some of the raffles. So. Oh wow, they're giving away a. Uh, I heard so much about you. Give them all. Look, we got some fireball tools, some uh, Z-squares, 
These are some uh, keyless chucks from Precision Matthews. These are really nice right here. Black books, Makita tools, even some okay, handmade. Ty, we need a favor from Ty. Ty, we need you to head on handmade over tools. to the cannery tent, please. Ty, head on over to the cannery tent. <laughs> so I run into Scott from the Essential Craftsman, right? That's right, which means I got to run into Adam from A Bomb 79. <laughs> well, he has a really cool YouTube channel, so you really need to check that out. It does a lot of cool stuff. You know, you do like restoration, right, and blacksmithing, and construction and stuff. He, shrugs, just, he just does all kind of Our stuff. He's got a great channel, very popular. You need to check early. him out. But, but here's the difference. So Everything I do, you know, Amy's when I blacksmith, you you, uh, you measure it by eye, colors. cut it on a hot cut, and then hammer it to fit. Or we when I work with a uh, skill saw, you know, it's plus or minus a sixteenth. And this guy works to thousands and parts of thousands. And it just dazzles me. He's got a great channel. Yeah, there's some of those gearbox shafts get pretty precise, pretty man, stinking. But, but I like it, you know, it's it's fun. Uh, I enjoy it. Yeah, those precision go yeah. That doesn't frustrate you having to get right down like Pick that. No, not, not like normally. Over yeah. here. A lot of great well, we've actually got a little project that we're talking about doing together. So we're going to have something for the channel where we're going to collaborate on. He's working on an old tool, and I'm going to give him a hand fixing one of the components of that. So I'm really looking forward to that collaboration. Me too. Appreciate it, man. This is great. Yeah, it's an exciting day here. Yeah, it's going to be a good event, man. I think you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. So if you're close or if you missed it maybe it'll happen again next year we're maybe. having a great time i think they're going to try to make it an annual thing that's a good idea that would be great yeah all right man well, it's good to meet you finally Same here, and we'll be talking today. talking soon thanks right. adam okay so what's y'all's name Bo, Luke, and jim, jim bollinger <laughs> do right fabrication yeah the youtube channel do right fabrication these are my two older boys yeah made straight a so far this year so uh dad had to spring for a couple of airplane tickets so we all were y'all surprised? Yep, yeah, this is yeah. fun. This is fun, it's really fun. Good. I hope you have a lot of fun today. There's a lot of cool stuff to see out here. A lot of tractors. I, I want to try making a knife. Yeah? Too. Well, you might get a chance later. <laughs> I'm not going to stop them. There you go. You know, burns the heel. <laughs> and they'll learn from it. You got you to learn from your mistakes. Hey, hey, you think I learned? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they got the, the log splitter running over here. I want to get you, get you a shot of it. So we got Eric from Hansel Rescue here. Very cool. Uh, finally getting to meet him in person. I know I've seen you on online a lot. And yeah. You've been uh, hanging out with Jimmy quite a bit. Yeah, and, uh, I was there doing, some, doing some collaborations. So yeah. really cool. And he actually uh, brought me a little gift right here. One of his wrenches that he makes. And it's a very cool functioning wrench. Check that out. Very nice. I it appreciate does function, it, man. Yes. Yeah, that is the key. That, that is awesome. That's the good part. <laughs> yeah, use it yeah. for whatever you want. Yeah, um, we'll put it to use. Up to a thousand pounds of clamping pressure. Really? Really have, if you could leverage the nut enough. Yeah. Uh, I like it. But otherwise, yeah, do whatever you'd like. With it. All right, man. Very cool. <laughs> well, I'm happy to see you out here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, out really to the nice to meet you. Really nice And getting to meet a lot of new folks out here this week. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, to get you. So where, where are you from? Because I don't know where you're from. I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Canada? Yeah. Okay. So that's north of Montana, North Dakota okay. area. 
Isn't that like, that's just wilderness out there. It's just it? nothing. It's just big <laughs> yeah. That's what know, us like Southerners savage. think when we think of Canada and that area. It's just woods and wilderness up there. Oh my right? God. I, it was amazing because last night it was like minus 30 really? wind chills. So, wow. And I'm just here enjoying the nice weather. So. You got some nice weather. It's going to be up to about 70 degrees today. That's way hotter than I need. So <laughs> that's totally fine. It's going to be a good, it's going to be a good day. What are you thinking of the event so far? It's pretty so far, cool. So it's huh? awesome. Uh, hopefully, you can take the viewers to go see the main uh, museum barn. Yeah, I want to go around and see everything. Filled with insanely. I have not even stuff. been in there yet. Oh, we haven't got to see it. Every inch of the walls is yeah. just covered in axes, handsaws, and chainsaws, and engines, and grinders, and just everything. everything. I'm ready to go and see yeah, that. You gotta go check it out. What is it that you kind of specialize in on uh, with your YouTube channel? What kind of things do you really like to work on? Is it, is it just hand tools or machines or old antique tools or what? Uh, in terms of anything that gets restored, I, I do like things that have an engine just because explosions are fun. <laughs> yeah. um, but they are harder to, to work on. Uh, I started just in hand planes, but I, I really just like anything that's kind of quirky and unique and, yeah. and different. You know, like a hand cranked hammer drill is just yeah. something more foreign to me because I'm not old enough to remember the role of those things. Yeah. Tools. Now it's just the, put the battery in the tool and go. So yeah. anything quirky, I'm not totally fine with. But I'm excited to yeah. get into really big unnecessary tools like power hammers and things like that, which there are many around today. <laughs> you're going to get to see a lot of cool stuff. Like, look at that old anvil you're leaning on right there. Yeah, what's this Set, one? 700 pound anvil. Oh, oh this one's 400. Oh, that's the 410, the seven. The 700 is over there. 728 is over there. That's just yeah. so much. Andrew, Andrew's got all his, his neat stuff I around here. I could forge here. an anvil on that anvil. Yeah. <laughs> that's how massive that is. There you go. Yeah. Well, man, it's good to meet you. Yeah, And awesome uh, I enjoy, uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the event. Today, and I hope you do I 100% will. <laughs> All right, I'll take him over there and show him the museum. Yeah, do, please do. <laughs> All right. Hey, get some ice cream. Cream maker here. I'm out. <laughs> you know who I am. Nice to meet you. <laughs> really? What do you have right here? This uh, 1923 with Holy Tim. Okay. And it's a horse and a half. And just hooked up to a five gallon ice cream freezer. That is cool. And we make ice cream, sherbet, roast margarita. So is this a uh, hit and miss engine? This is a throttle gopher. Okay, a hit and miss. Yeah, that's like a hit that. and miss over there. Okay, this is called a throttle gopher. It, it actually has a little mixer plate with it and uh, a governor over here. And it runs, at, I mean, it hits every four revolutions just like a little bridge of track. Okay. So, All right. But, very, uh, that is very cool. Well, it was good to meet you. Yes, sir. Good. I'm going to come down here and show them the ice cream making. I'm going to have to try some of that later now. Oh, you bet. You
zinc is uh, milk bottle. <laughs> and what we're pouring it into is, uh, is an anode, and the anode makes this brick. And we're not really sure about how pretty it is. Yeah, go ahead. So that's called a lifting shank that they have it in now. And it's got a nice little thing that almost keeps the crystals from falling out. So what they're going to do is they're going to pour it right up to the top of those, those two. That's actually where the bolts go through. So instead of machining the bolts into it, we just cast the bolt holes in there. That one's coming out better than the one I did. That's enough right there. It doesn't even look hot. It is really hot. Keep it going? Yeah. Just like we are here? Yeah. All right. Is it like, can, is there too close? No. All right. Do you want you in it? Yeah, just show it all. This is, this is Adam Booth turning his first hit and myth engine. Faster. You got spark? Just, just pretend it's on. Are you out of gas? What about? There we go. Do it. Let's split. So this is attached to a log right, splitter. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. You should. It's attached to a log splitter there. Yeah. Start splitting some logs. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Nice. Do some lock flip. There you are, sir. I didn't break anything. Thank you very much. There was our camera operator right there. I interrupted. He was eating a sherbet. The hit and miss <laughs> ice cream. Okay. Oh god, that was so smooth. <laughs> so what you do is just kind of lean in, flip it open, get that rhythm. There it goes. Well, what can I say, guys? It's been a fantastic day. It's been uh, so enjoyable and uh, humbling and meeting so many folks and uh, uh, YouTube creators and fans and viewers of the, of the channel. And I've uh, just been, I've been meeting people, shaking hands all day long and talking and having good, great conversations. And it's always a good time to uh, meet everybody. And since I have stayed busy meeting and talking with everybody all day, I really haven't had a chance to get a lot of the video of the actual museum other than some of the events going on like behind me right there which is uh, uh you know hoffman doing the uh blacksmithing over there and i've shown you some other things but i haven't even been into the main museum yet which is where they got a lime powered shop in there and i'm really excited to see that but i'm probably going to wait until tomorrow because justin said that uh the creators are going to be allowed to come back out tomorrow the ones that are still here and we're going to be in the museum and have it all to ourselves and in that way i'll be able to get some cool footage of all of the things that the museum puts on here and shows it's it really is a magnificent place you wouldn't suspect it driving down the road everything they have but they do have a lot of really cool stuff here so um, i'm gonna be back tomorrow and i'm gonna get some more video then to share with you okay